asphyxia neonatorum is the failure of the newborn to initiate and sustain respiration at birth predisposing factors placenta previa this is due to bleeding from the abnormally situated placenta in the lower uterine segments intracranial injuries this can result from birth injuries which may cause pressure on the cerebrum and cerebellum that affects in the respiratory center narcotics some drugs like pethidine given to relieve pain in the second stage of labor may displace the respiratory center of the baby prematurity in a premature infant surfactant is inefficient and this makes it unable for the lungs to expand and initiate a breathing blockage of airway this is due to secretions like mucus blood and meconium which can be aspirated by the fetus in utero post maturity when the fetus has been in utero for more than 42 weeks the placenta degenerates and oxygen supply becomes minimal pathophysiology oxygenation of the fetus is dependent on the following factors oxygenation of the mother adequate perfusion of the placentocytes placenta function and fetoplacenta circulation and adequate fetohemoglobin absence or impairment of any of these factors will result in a reduction of oxygen supply to the fetus leading to intrauterine hypoxia the fetus responds to hypoxia by accelerating its heart rate in an effort to maintain supply oxygen to the brain in hypoxia persists uh, glucose depletion will stimulate anaerobic glucolysis resulting in a metabolic acidosis cerebral vessels will dilate and some brain swelling may occur peripheral acidotic and cardiac glycogen reserve depleted bradycardia develops uh, anosphincter relaxes and the fetus may pass meconium into the liquor gasping breathing movements triggered by hypoxia results in the aspiration of meconium stained liquor into the lungs complications mental retardation due to the death of brain cells following hypoxia brain damage due to death of brain cells following hypoxia or anoxia hypoglycemia acute renal failure atelectasis pneumothorax pulmonary edema respiratory distress syndrome